In this training video you'll see a ball guy disappearing into the tank. We'll play hide and seek with class inspector, fishing in the ballast tank using the bucket. Inspector finds light at the end of the tunnel. I Good. What is a confined space and how do we recognize it? If the space has limited ways to get in and out, it could be a confined space. If the space was designed to hold something other than people, like tanks, the space is large enough for you to enter and conduct some work inside. We'll explain why is it dangerous to enter and close space and what you can do to make it safer. The atmosphere of the tank could contain less oxygen than you need. Symptoms are vertigo, nausea, dizziness, confusion and loss of consciousness. There could be toxic gas inside the tank such as hydrogen sulfide or carbon dioxide. Any of those could end you quickly, by the time you smell them it might be too late to leave the tank. There could also be a flammable gas inside which could be ignited by something you do. To make sure the air is clean, we use portable fans and force clean air into the tank. We have to use portable gas detectors to check atmosphere in the tank before entry and personal gas detectors should be attached to you while you are inside the tank. Keep the air blower running while people are inside. Only certified non-spark electronics can be used to reduce risk of explosion. Here you can see how the risk was reduced when we apply simple control measures such as ventilation and gas detection. Make sure access to tanks is controlled. Place barriers, warning signs and covers to prevent people falling inside the tank or entering without permission. One person should always stay at the entrance, while other people are inside the tank. These are control measures to reduce risk of falling inside the tank by use of barriers, signs and watchmen. Risk is reduced to reasonable level. Check tank content and make sure there is nothing inside before you enter. People need to know what to expect before they go inside. Valves need to be closed and isolated, as well as power for associated machinery. If we know what is inside and we make sure nothing else can enter the space, the risk is reduced to acceptable level. Enclosed spaces are not designed to be comfortable or easily accessible. For an experienced person, risk of injury is much higher than for the others. Make sure that at least one person inside know what he's doing. He can be accompanied by a trainee assistant, who is only helping and learning in order to prepare for future entries. Supervision and training will reduce risk and bring benefit to all. If a person in a closed space is injured or unconscious, there should be rescue equipment nearby. SCBA for rescuer and EBD for injured person. Rescue kit to lift the injured person and stretcher. There's no point just standing there as a watchman if you're not able to help when required. Watchman and team inside should always have radio and make sure that it works. Communicate with people inside to make sure they're okay. Good communication is essential for safe completion of any job on board. This risk assessment and knowledge about control measures should get you through most of the job safely. But remember that each job is specific. More important is the toolbox meeting that you should conduct before starting the work. You'll discuss the job with your colleagues to make sure all of you are on the same page and that everyone understands what is to be done.